Howdy ho friends, it's Michelle and I'm super excited to sniff through the Bring Back My Bars that will be available on June 1st. I got my hands on these from the Consultant Early Access Kit. That's another perk of being a Scentsy Consultant is you get your hands on the wax bars a little before they launch. Um, I will say though, these scents, I think all of them I have smelled in years past. I have not sniffed them recently, um, but I do like getting the package, the full package ahead of time, just in case my scent preferences or my nose changes. For example, Blue Christmas, um, a, years, a few years ago when it was available, I didn't like it. And then it came out last year again, and I absolutely love it, and it's in my club. So you just never know. Um, how things are gonna smell. Maybe better this time than you remember, whatever. Anyway, um, I do also wanna mention that uh, all of these have been available from between like 2019, 2021. So these are scents that are returning pretty often, I will say. Um, yeah, we'll talk about the history actually again as we sniff through these like I did in the last Bring Back My Bar video um, for January because y'all seem to like it. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of give you that history as we sniff through these. All right, let's go. <laughs> First one in alphabetical order is Beach. This is papaya honeydew sweetened with a hint of coconut and my records go far as far as about 2010. Um, so anything before that, I may not know when they actually launched, but for Beach, I have, it was available in the spring, summer, and fall, winter of 2010, the spring, summer of 2011, 12, and 13, with fall, winter in 2013, spring, summer in 2014, 2015, again with a fall, winter in 2015, and then spring, summer in 2016. So I think this was originally a very popular scent um, that stayed many years in the catalog and some even fall winter. And then we go to Bring Back My Bars. It went in January of 2018, the Bring Back My Bar in the next year, January 2019. Again in June, Bring Back My Bar of 20 and that was the last time it was available and now we have June 2023. So from June 20 to June 23, this has returned most recently. Papaya honeydew sweetened with a hint of coconut. I think this has quite a bit of papaya in it. It's um, kind of different than the sense like that we have now and that we've been more familiar with in the last few years that papaya note is definitely there kind of gives it that um tropical feel a little bit and and coconut i would say the things i get the most is papaya for sure and then coconut i like it i think i like it actually a little better this year than in past years but we will see how that warms I think this is about a medium scent. It doesn't smell light, but it doesn't smell super strong either. So we shall see. Next is Cashmere Pear. And honestly, this one, I don't remember how it smells. It says slip into sensual white amber, Madagascar vanilla, silky pear, and warm red ginger. A blend as smooth and luxurious as fine spun cashmere. This was new in the fall winter of 2015. It returned in the fall winter of 2016 and 17. And then it came back, bring back my bar, December of 2020. And then now in June of 2023. Okay. I don't, like I said, I don't really remember smelling this in 2020, but I'm sure I did. It's very interesting. I get amber and the pear and I think the ginger, but it is a very um, kind of sensual amber with a little kick from that ginger in there. V 
very, very interesting. I think this will be on the lighter end of medium performance, but we'll see. Next is cherry, oh, cherry vanilla. Uh, a delightful swirl of candied cherry and sugared almond folded into velvety white chocolate ice cream. This started as a scent of the month in May of 2012, was in the spring, summer, and fall winter catalogs for 2013, and then the spring, summer of 2014, and then ever since then, it's been in Bring Back My Bars, uh, January of 16, January of 17, June of 20, and now June of 2023. Mm. I like this. It's um, not quite what I remember. I feel like I like it better now, too. It is a candied cherry, and I do get that almond in there as well. White chocolate ice cream, I don't know. I'm not sure that I get a lot of white chocolate. Maybe just a touch. I would definitely say that's the least um, of what I get in those scent notes. I think I get them in the order that they're listed with the candy cherry and sugared almonds and then white chocolate ice cream. I don't know necessarily that I would say it's ice cream, white chocolate ice cream, but a little bit of a white chocolate note. Very fruity. Um, I would say the majority scent here is that cherry. I think that might be a little on the lighter side. Next, we have the infamous churro churro. Baked pastry sprinkled with cinnamon sugar captures the heavenly churro charm. This was new in the spring summer catalog of 2019 and it stayed around for the fall 2019 catalog and then spring summer 2020 catalog and then we didn't see it again until now. And there have been plenty of people talking about mixes that this does good with. It smells like a churro. <laughs> it's definitely got that um, kind of chewy churro with the crisp outside. It's got that doughy note with just a touch of cinnamon. If you don't like cinnamon, don't be afraid to try this one at all. This is a good blender. It is on the lighter side though. I will warn you about that. Supposedly warming this as mixed with others, it kind of shines and somehow strengthens. Um, by the way, I wanted to mention None of my bars have the sticker for Bring Back My Bar. I'm curious if y'all are getting these bars, let me know if you have any stickers. I don't think any of mine have the stickers on them. Churro Churro is a win. If I were a bakery lover, this would be going in my club for sure. I'm not a bakery lover though, but I will probably get a few for mixing. Maybe put it in my hack club to kind of have it, you know, so I can get more in a, later. See my hack club videos if you're curious about how that works. Next is Love and Kisses Mini. Oh, I'm so glad I voted for this one for sure to come back. And actually that's not the next one. How did we get out of order here? Are these in backward order? Uh-huh. Sorry. I don't know what happened here. Okay, next alphabetically is Fuzzy Blanket. And this is Snuggle Up to the Soft Scent of Lavender, Sandalwood, and Sweet Honeysuckle. Now, I forgot about this one. I have not smelled this one before. Uh... 
Or at least I don't remember. I had to have, though. Sorry. I'm looking at when it was available. It was a scent of the month in August 2014. And then in Bring Back My Bars in January of 18, June of 20, and June of 2023 now. So it was, it was in the June, I mean the 2020 set. I don't remember this one. Oh, maybe I do. <laughs> but I think I remember it from a long time ago, not from 2020, anyway. Okay, so this is nice. It's a very soft scent. Um, think like maybe the Winnie the Pooh, 100 Acre Wood. It's a very nice, gentle lavender sandalwood with just a touch of floral in there. I really like this one. I wonder if it's really light Maybe that's why I don't remember it so much in 2020. But I usually like lavender scents and sandalwood if it's not super woody, if it just kind of adds that um, like body care or perfume note. Don't let the honeysuckle scare you or the lavender, really. Or the sandalwood. It's a good blend. It's a good blend of all three scents and... kind of smoothed out to be kind of a calming, relaxing, fuzzy blanket type scent. Yeah. Hmm. All right, next is Ghostly Greetings. This was a scent of the month in September of 2020 and we haven't seen it back. Well, it hasn't been released. It's been in the clearance section, I think multiple times and flash sales multiple times until now. So, the description is spooky black plum, spiced berry, and a dash of bourbon are brewed in a cauldron and ready to beckon you in. And this has De Devana, Devana, clove, and pink pepper, amber wood, berry, and plum, sandalwood, cream, cedar, patchouli, and sheer musk. This was the scent of the month when they started expanding those scent notes for us and giving us more information. So... I will say this is absolutely 100% a good Halloween type scent. If you don't like those kind of Halloween type scents, you may not like this one. But it is so nice and kind of spicy, but you get those dark berries so much and a little bit of woodsiness. Uh, the patchouli, I would say, is noticeable, but I don't usually like patchouli incense and in incense, you know what I mean. But this one is mixed so well, like with that berry note and the wood and the plum, that it's it's not overwhelming patchouli. So don't let that scare you either. I mean, obviously all of these scents are good. They got voted back. So I highly recommend if you haven't tried any of these, you, you gotta sniff them at least. <laughs> all right, next, another infamous bar here. Happy birthday, a confection of sparkling sugar, fluffy whipped cream and warm vanilla extract. This started as a scent of the month in July of 2011. And it was in the fall, winter, spring, summer, well, fall, winter of 2011. So right after it was sent to the month, it made it to that next catalog. And then in spring, summer, and the fall, winter catalogs for 2012, 13, and 14. And then it started showing up in the Bring Back My Bars every few years or even more. Uh, July of 2016, June of 17, January of 2019, June of 2020, and here we are again, June 2023. So I would say this comes back every two to three years at least. All right. And this is definitely like 
to me, it's a white cake batter. Not cooked, but batter. Confection of sparkling sugar, fluffy whipped cream, and warm vanilla extract. Yes, it's got that warm note, but it's not like it's a cakey note. It's the batter before it's cooked to me. I love this, but again, I'm not a bakery lover, so I like to have some on hand, but it's not one I reach for often. I would like to compare to Birthday Wishes, which was in our Moment by Moment collection a few years ago. The Someone's honking outside. Um, actually, I guess I should have pulled up the scent notes too, huh? Birthday Wishes is rainbow sugar sprinkles add a sweet surprise to cake batter and whipped vanilla. I would say Birthday Wishes is actually more of a cake, a cooked cake, sponge cake, kind of white cake type scent when it's warming. I prefer, personally, <laughs> the Happy Birthday because it's sweeter, like a cake batter would be before it's cooked, you know? Um, yeah, it's it's my preference, and that's why I didn't keep birthday wishes in my club. I knew this would be back, and I was right. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely sweet vanilla cake batter. And a good performer, from what I remember. Next is Harbor's Edge. And this says, Beach grass, flowering raspberry, and northern oak fern sway amid crashing waves, churning a surge of salty musk. That is a lot. Okay. This was a scent of the month in August 2019. And I remember... When I joined Scentsy again, for the second time, because um, I started buying more, may as well join and get some of my money back. Um, it was maybe a month after it was the scent of the month when I joined again. So I ended up, I almost want to say, maybe I ordered this and, I don't know, there was a similar scent like the month before or the month after this. Anyway, I ordered it after it was sent of the month and honestly, it was just okay for me then. Um, so yeah, we haven't seen this back since it was sent of the month in August 2019. All kind of stuff going on. Beach grass, flowering raspberry, northern oak fern, crashing waves, surge of salty musk. Harbor Sage, here we go. It seems very light, first of all. Yeah, it's pretty busy. <laughs> I would say probably what comes out to me first is the raspberry and like a beach grass, almost like a green note a little bit, but not like a dewy green note. And then maybe this like crashing wave. And I do get a little bit of that wood, that oak in the background too. It's, it's interesting, but it seems very busy. Like a lot of things going on. But you know, sometimes when you have a lot of things going on is one of the best scents. So it's fresh though. A little salty so definitely you know if you don't tend to like those kind of salty scents yeah I get a little bit of all of that it blends to be kind of a sweet fresh salty type scent <laughs> that was a little difficult okay Hemingway ooh this is one I was looking forward to coming back because it is going in my club. I'm telling you now. Hemingway. Rich, ripe apples and warm woody accents of sandalwood and cedar with hints of spice. I don't know when this first originally came out, but like I said, 
I have back to 2010. Um, it is in the spring, summer, and fall winter catalogs for 2010, 11, and 12. So year round for three years. And then it started popping up and bring back my bars. January of 14, January of 15, January of 16, January of 17, wow, July of 2018, June of 20, and then now June of 2023. So I remember this for sure from June of 2020. I regretted not putting it in my club, but figured it would come back since it has been returned, has returned so many times. All right. Okay. The first note here is apple. More of a cooked apple, not like a crisp, you know, ripe, juicy apple. More of a cooked apple to me. But it could also be that the the woody notes and the cedar and sandalwood and spice kind of make it more of a cooked apple. But it's so nice. It's a woody apple scent. And I know we had falling apples in last fall winter. Um, I was hoping it was more like this, but it had a lot more falling apple, had a lot more wood note to it. This is definitely dominated by the apple. It's apple first and foremost. But it is kind of that heavy, warm, cooked apple with a little bit of sandalwood and a little bit of spice. Don't let the spice scare you though. I remember this being an average performer, but it's going in my club. I'll tell you that. Uh, next, that's where our love and kisses mini comes in. The sweetest girl is the one you never forgot, and this fragrance bursting with bright red berries, fresh apricot, and creamy vanilla captures her everlasting charm. So, this was new in the fall-winter catalog of 2018, and it stayed for the spring-summer summer of 19 and fall-winter of 19, but that's it. That's all we had this scent in the catalog, and then now in our June 2023. This is another one I'll say I regretted not at least stocking up or putting in my club. So, this may be a club scent too. We'll say it's super light to begin with, but it does cure to be a little stronger, at least an average performer, an acceptable performer with cure time. And... Yes, so if you're thinking, well, what's the difference between that like apricot vanilla that we have in the catalog and this, because this has apricot and vanilla <laughs> in the scent notes, this definitely has that red berry added to it. I'm thinking strawberry probably. Maybe even raspberry, but I think it's strawberry. So it's a lot more sweeter scent. It's um, brighter, I guess. The apricot vanilla in the catalog is more almost an edible scent. This is not necessarily an edible scent. This is more of a body care, um, girly type of a scent, not edible. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm just going to say Next, we got My Wish. A confection of earthy fig, sweet violet, and playful marshmallow will have you wishing for more. And I remember this, actually, when it was a scent of the month and launched in January of 2011. Um, I had a friend at work that absolutely loved this scent when it was out as scent of the month. That's why I remember so much. Um, it has returned multiple times though. Let's see. So it was a scent of the month in January of 2011 and then ended up in the spring summer catalog for 2011 and stayed in the fall winter for 2011. It came back in spring summer of 2012 but then it fell into the bring back my bar um, circle I guess. <laughs> Uh, it's been back in Bring Back My Bar 
July of 13, January of 15, June of 2017, June of 2021, and now we have it again, June of 23. So, the scent. It is, I'd say, half fig, half marshmallow. You definitely get both scent notes. The fig is, it is earthy, but of course it's sweet because of all the marshmallow. That violet, I feel like, I maybe get the violet now, but as it cures a little bit, I feel like the marshmallow and fig take over that violet note. I mean, it might be five to 10% fresh on a fresh bar. I just actually warmed my last My Wish in the last couple months because I knew it was coming back. But yeah, it's it's dev definitely like a heavy, dark, like fall fig type of scent. And that marshmallow is very sweet, very sweet and creamy. It's a good scent. Definitely try it. Uh, lighter side though. Moving my stacks over. Next is Painted Leaves. Wander through blue spruce, red maple, and golden woods. This was new in the fall winter of 2017 and returned in the fall winter of 2018. Bring back my bar, December 2020. And now, of course, June of 23. And I will say, I remember when this was out before, and I didn't like it then. It, I, it, you know, everyone was, oh, I love it. It's great scent. Um, you know, building up the hype. So maybe that's part of it. Maybe it just didn't live up to the hype. <laughs> but for me, it had like this astringent, uh, almost chemical type note. So let's see how it smells to me this year. It was probably that blue spruce that was just astringent to me, but we'll see how my nose thinks of it this time. Much better. Not as astringent as I remember it before, but you know, that could have been the issue with Blue Christmas too, when it was available several years ago. Yeah, that blue spruce is definitely a pretty sharp, intense note in this. Maple, red maple, um, that's not like a maple syrup. That's a wood. <laughs> and then golden woods. So you get a little bit of that red maple scent, but it's not, like I said, it's not like a syrup scent. So if you see maple and think eh, eh, it's one of those cloying type scents, that's not the maple that's in here. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice um, fall for sure. It's better than I remember it. I'm glad, gonna be glad to try it again. I would probably say though, because of how astringent and sharp some of these notes are. I would not try this in a small area. Um, if you do, like maybe half a cube to start with, but I have a feeling something like this would be good in medium to large zones. It's fresh and fall, crisp, kind of fall day. Yeah. Um, Plum and White Woods. This is another one I remember not liking a few years ago when it was out. So we'll see on this one too. Plum and White Woods. Sweet raspberry preserves and damson plum weave through vanilla orchid. And this was originally a scent of the month in 2018 and then came back and bring back my bar December 2020 and now June 23. Again, I think Maybe my nose was just off in December of 2020, which we all know what year that was. So that's very possible. Maybe it's getting back to normal now. <laughs> um, 
but I believe I, this was really astringent to me also and sharp and chemical like so I am happy to smell it again get another chance for the bar and for me very perfumey very perfumey I don't necessarily get a sharp note but there is definitely um, like a perfume alcohol kind of type you know how a perfume has that that you have to kind of wave away until it kind of um, dries I get a lot of that type of scent in here but it's nice sweet raspberry preserve and damson plum with vanilla orchid I have I don't know if this is my note or someone else said this, but I have a note that says similar to Shimmer. And I can definitely see that, although Shimmer I think has like cherry or a different fruit note. I don't remember which one, but. And I would say this is stronger than Shimmer too, but I can definitely see the, the resemblance on those. So if you like Shimmer, you might like this. This is, um, yeah, I don't, I can get the raspberry and all that now. I don't know that I did a few years ago. But I will say that kind of alcohol -y note, chemical note, I guess, is definitely there still for me here. We'll warm it and see how that does warm. Always try scents warm because they could completely change. <laughs> Another one, I'm so glad it came back. Rustic Lodge. Warm fragrance of cedar, oak, and musk with traces of wood smoke and fallen leaves. This is going in my club. <laughs> I wish I would have put it in there a few years ago when it was available. Um, this was, I don't know before when it started, but it was in the spring, summer of 2010 and fall winter of 2010 catalogs and then went to the bring back my bar cycle in July of 12, January of 15, January of 20 and now June of 2023. And I'm so glad it's back. It's going in the club, like I said. Cedar, oak, musk, wood smoke and fallen leaves. This is absolutely a winter scent because you do get that wood smoke, but it is so, what's the word, fresh, a fresh wood smoke, I guess from that cedar for sure, and you get, um, yeah, kind of a fresh fall air, which is probably the fallen leaves. It's beautiful. It's not one I will reach for all the time. Um, so what I might do is put it, get a few for this June month while it's available, put it in my hack club, and then when we turn to the fall winter stuff, I will, you know, make decisions then. So kind of postpone actually getting it in my club, but still have it there as a backup to put in my club. Yep. Yeah. Sorry if I'm confusing you. Hmm. What else can I say about this? It does kind of have like that cabin feel. Yeah, you gotta try it. It's hard to explain. I would say that's a fairly unique scent, kind of like a uh, Southern Evening. Not that they're similar scents, but just hard to explain and unique. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Southern Sweet Tea. A splash of juicy peach, orange juice, and white tea. This was new in the spring summer catalog for 2017. And it stayed in the fall winter of 17 catalog and then returned again spring summer 18 and 2019 and 20. 
And now we have it with Bring Back My Barn 23. So this, it's a great scent. It's light. I haven't even smelled it. Let's smell it. Yeah. That's what I remember. Okay, I live in the South. This is not what Southern sweet tea tastes, smells like. I'll say that. But it's good. It's good. You definitely get like that orange juice and that peach with a tea note. It's a great scent. It's on the lighter side warming though, but actually to my nose right now, this doesn't smell light. I would say it smells like a medium performer on cold sniff at least, but I would not try this in a large area. I would at least stick to some medium zones to test it out. Next, we have the ever-popular sweet pea and vanilla ambiance of raspberries and sweet pea petal with vanilla. And this has been around a lot. It's gotten around. Let's see. <laughs> Spring and summer, fall and winter for 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then just spring, summer of 19. And then it jumped to the Bring Back My Bar of June 21 and June 23 now. So year round for from 2010 to 2018. This was back when I was originally uh, in Cincy. I, this was a huge seller. It was like black raspberry vanilla black raspberry vanilla black raspberry. you know what I'm talking about the one that's been in the catalog forever this was right there next to it I mean it was popular everybody loved it it kept returning it was like it was always gonna be there kind of type scent so if you have not tried it try it it definitely has a sweet raspberry but it's kind of diluted a little bit, I think, with that vanilla and that sweet pea. You get just a little bit of that floral sweet pea note and a little bit of creaminess from vanilla, but it's not like a super creamy scent necessarily. It's a great scent, especially a fresh pour. I like fresh pours on this scent better than a cured sweet pea and vanilla. I get more of a fruity vanilla than a floral scent out of this. It was in the floral category though. And I think the longer it cures, the floral does kind of overpower that uh, raspberry note. Looking for, I don't see any dates in these. It is the new packaging which started in 2020 maybe let us know if in the comments if you remember when that this new um, embossed packaging started yeah it's a great scent kind of girly maybe even a little bit um, adolescent type scent all right on to vanilla suede Classic comforting vanilla combined with rich amber and hint of sandalwood and spice. A cozy and subtle masculine fragrance is the description I have, which came from probably when it was started as Scent of the Month in February 2010. I wonder what the... Yeah, okay. I was just curious. I just grabbed this that they released. It, it's the same description. Um, why? Well, I'll get to that in a second. So I also remember when this came out, Scent of the Month, February of 2010, because again, that same friend that I worked with said that it smelled like our boss's perfume. And it does. It does. It's one of those scents that linger in the perfume form. I wish I knew what brand it was, but I don't. Um... And for that, I don't care for it. It's like one of those 
perfumes that even if she hadn't been on the elevator in a while, you could still smell the perfume in that elevator. Um, okay, sorry. I'm going off on a little tangent there, huh? So, scent of the month in February 2010, and then spring, summer, and fall, winter catalogs of 2010, fall, winter of 2011, and then spring, summer, and fall, winter of 2012, and 2013, and 2014. So, this has been a popular scent, and then it joins the Bring Back My Bar uh, cycle in January 18, January 19, December of 20, and now June of 2023. So, it's a good scent. I'm not sure, like when I see the suede in the name, I think of leather. I would not say this is leather. This does not have any even hint of leather to me. The amber and sandalwood combined could maybe be a slight similar note combined to... to smell like leather but yeah it's not the same and it's got that spice in it I don't know what spice I don't know what spice I wish I could tell you it's not like a cinnamon or ginger you know not the normal stuff I actually like the bottom better I think the sandalwood comes out a little more anyway it's definitely a scent to try if you have not already. I would say it's a little different. That spicy note in there um, could be a love or hate relationship for some. All right, watermelon patch. This is sweet vine ripened watermelon. And I don't know when the origin of this one is. I just. <laughs> <clears throat> It was already in the Bring Back My Bar cycles in 2010, so it's older than that. Um, it was in Bring Back My Bar in July of 2010, July of 2011, July of 2012, and again in 2014 in January, January of 15, January of 16, January of 17, July of 19, June of 21, and now again, June of 23. This is a candied watermelon, like a Jolly Rancher, and probably a great mixer. Like, stick, if you want to add watermelon to anything, this would be your, like, watermelon scent to add. I would say it's on the verge of, yeah, it could be a fresh watermelon, but it's sure on the verge of like a watermelon Jolly Rancher for sure. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, what else can I say? It smells like watermelon. <laughs> Next is White Sands. Night blooming jasmine softened by coconut milk and rice enveloped in the gentlest breeze. Uh, this was new in the fall winter of 2010, so that's when it got its start in the catalog of 2000, fall 2010. Uh, it also came back in the spring, summer, and fall winter of the following year in 2011, spring, summer of 2012, and then it joins the Bring Back My Bar cycle. Well, let's see. Uh, lost my spot. Bring Back My Bar in January of 14, June of 15, July of 18, June of 20, and then June of 2023. So, when this was here last, I don't think I liked it. I think that um, coconut milk was just not right to me. I think it had, if I remember correctly, it was like super perfumey probably from the jasmine more so, but it's like it did not go with the coconut milk and the rice type scents to me. I may love it this year. Let's see. You know what? This just brought me back to like Scentsy long, long ago, which would make sense because 
I may be thinking of fall winter 2010 when it came out I mean doesn't seem like that long ago but it kind of was <laughs> okay uh, <clears throat> so for the scent I like it it's really creamed out kind of perfumey jasmine I guess I can get like a little bit of coconut out of it, but it's more of the milk part, milk and rice. Very nice. Maybe I don't like it warm. I don't know. And I feel like, so right now, this, the color of this wax is kind of lighter, almost like an almond color, but I feel like it gets dark fast. So maybe new pour versus cured is what I like, dislike. Anyway, okay, we'll see how it goes this year. Last but not least, I'm not looking forward to this one, white out. If you've been watching me a little bit, you know I don't like peppermint. Exhilarating blast of cool peppermint and sweet golden apple blanketed over frosty winter pine. This is new in the Fall Winter Catalog of 2011, and it came back for the Fall Winter Catalogs in 2012, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And then joined the Bring Back My Bar cycle in January 20, 2020, and now June of 2023. So, I'm very sensitive to peppermint. I don't like it. I feel like that's all I got from this before, so let's give it another try. I'm going to start... A little further away. I can already smell the peppermint. This is fairly light actually. That's odd. And this this wax, I mean it doesn't get any whiter than that. That matches the white on my shoe, shelves back there. Shoes? Shelves? I don't know what I was about to say. Okay, on the bottom, I get more peppermint. I don't really get the apple, but I, I wouldn't trust my nose with the peppermint scent in there. If you like peppermint, you probably get the other stuff. I feel like for me, it's like 90% peppermint and 10% pine. But it's light. Odd. That's odd that it's light like that for me. Ooh, there's a date in this one. If I can get it May. Ninth. Of 2023. Uh, what? Can that be right? Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it says. Wow, I mean, this is brand new pour. No wonder it smells light then. Okay, so at least there's that. I remember it being at least a medium to strong performer. So that's my, I won't say first sniffs, my thoughts on the Bring Back My Bar um, that's coming starting June 1st. And I did want to chat a little bit, um, if you want to stick around for Chatty Michelle. Um, if you don't, thanks for stopping by and give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have not already, I put out, I upload new videos uh, usually once a week, if not twice or three times a week, depending on what I have going on um, and hauls coming in and all that stuff. So yeah, it's free to subscribe. So yeah, please do so. And okay, so Chatty Michelle wants to talk about the process in which Cincy uses to give us the options on voting for Bring Back My Bar. So, as you can see, all of these scents were available. The oldest, the oldest one, I don't know how you put this, the one that was available the longest time ago was the Disney um, Mini, and that was 2019. All the rest have been available since 2020. So, I just wanted to chat about that, kind of give you thoughts, my thoughts on it. But, 
So I've been noticing for the last several years now that Cincy in the voting, when they um, put the news article out that we're going to start voting for the Bring Back My Bars, they put, they include in there this wording, the top 200 fragrances discontinued before July of 21 are eligible to return. Top 200 fragrances discontinued before July 21 eligible. And then there's a star. The top 200 fragrances that we're picking from are based on lifetime sales. So those scents that came out in the last couple years that were only available one or two months, there's no way that they can compete with scents that have been around, you know, for 10 years or whatever and come back repeatedly over and over and bring back my bars and they were in the catalog multiple times. So, yeah, I feel like, I don't want to say rigged, but it's kind of rigged. <laughs> um, you know, I, we pretty much, I think, know that if it's a limited time bar, if you like it, you got to club it because it's probably not coming back as an option to even vote for, for Bring Back My Bar because it's not going to hit the top 200 fragrances that Scentsy has released. Speaking of, so I've talked about the chart Excel spreadsheet that I have, right? of Scentsy Scents and when they were available and all that. But, so remember, <clears throat> I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I only was able to go back to like 2010. I did looked through every catalog and every Bring Back My Bar uh, flyer and every scent of the month from like 2010 to current. So just those scents alone, I want to tell you how many I have on this spreadsheet. I have so many that it stops showing me. There we go. 912 fragrances um, that Scentsy has released or had out available since 2010. And when did they start? 2004, I think. I think since you started in 2004, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me in the description uh, or in the comments. Actually, I can search it right now. When did Scentsy start? 2004. Ha! Okay. I know my Scentsy history. No, not really. Um, anyway, so the point of that was just in the last 13 years, and that's not even me having all the um, LTO scents, like summer collection, holiday collection, all of that, because I didn't go through every one of those back to 2010. So we've got over 900 fragrances, and only 200 of them are available for us to vote on for Bring Back My Bar. So I just kind of wanted to I don't know, chat about it. Like, what are y'all's thoughts on the whole voting process? I feel like two things should happen. All the scents should be available for voting, all of them. I know that's a lot of fragrances, though. I mean, you know, if I've got 900 on my list, you know there's probably, well, I wouldn't say double that, but you know there's hundreds more. So I see that they can't like put everything. Actually, didn't they used to do two rounds of voting? I think they did. They used to have one round of like all the scents. And then we would they would narrow it down to the top however many and then we would have a round two vote. Maybe they should go back to that. Or I think they need to have a section in the catalog every catalog season a favorite section and these that we keep voting back should be there you know the popular super popular ones you know um 
I'm trying to think of a super happy birthday. Why not have that in the catalog? Shoot, that could almost come back in spring, summer every year and probably do fine. Um, anyway, yeah. That's one reason I start, one of the many reasons I started the spreadsheet. Because I wanted to see like how often all these scents came back. Um, but there are so many on my spreadsheet that I would love to have again. But they don't ever come back because we vote the same ones back. And I understand why the same ones get voted back though. Because new customers with Scentsy have not smelled the ones from two, three years ago. Um, but that's, I think, why maybe the favorites in the catalog would be a great option for sales and to have those scents that keep getting voted back. And then Bring Back My Bar can really be a little more about bringing back bars that don't come back every few years. Would it still happen? Do you think it would still happen, though? Even if they gave us some in the catalog, and then we vote back some? I don't know. It might still would happen. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I just wanted to chat it up a little bit. Get your thoughts on the voting process. Like... What do you think? Do you like that the same scents come back every few years? But do you wish other scents would come back that don't get voted back? Um, you know, they show in the voting, when we're voting, like this scent is in the top 20, the current top 20. But then sometimes it's like completely different scents that end up making it to the final bring back my bar that returns. So, I don't know. I don't know. Um, like, I'm, I'm here kind of toward the end of the list, and I see one that's, it's called, the name of the scent is Thank You. It's soothing chamomile, lavender, and jasmine in a sweet vanilla, in sweet vanilla, enveloped like a warm embrace. It was the scent of the month, in March of 2014. I would love to smell that. Taj Mahal, there's one that's, <laughs> and it must go back much further because the only availability I have for that one is Bring Back My Bar in January of 2012. Um, there's just so many scents I wish we could smell again. Uh, maybe since he could just have you know, some random returning things. Or, oh, I've also thought about this. How about when you have a summer collection, a holiday collection, a Mother's Day, a Father's Day. They actually did this last year for Father's Day. Bring back a few scents uh, that are popular and get voted back, maybe, in those collections to give us another chance to, you know, stock up, put them in our club, whatever. That way, the Bring Back My Bar is not the same thing every few years. I feel like it's kind of just gotten to where you can kind of count on it. Like I said, I, I regretted not putting um, Hemingway or Rustic Lodge in my, in my club when they were available a couple years ago. But again, I knew they'd probably be coming back in a couple years. Same thing with Happy Birthday. If you didn't get it, didn't smell it, it'll be back in a few years. If you don't put it in your club now, in June, it's probably going to come back in a few years anyway. <laughs> Knock on wood. I'm knocking on wood. I just thought, I hope my dog doesn't start barking. Anyway, okay. So that's my thoughts. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And, yeah, let's chat about this in the comments. I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Thanks. Bye-bye.